Doctorate of Education program is for experienced professionals who are driven to transform the field of education. Instead of a research dissertation, EDD students complete a dissertation in practice, which begins with a problem of practice. This video will define the problem of practice and explain what it means to you as a student. First, we should ask the question, what is a problem of practice? Like when you mess up on something or something gets broken. Oh, problem that you practice? Yeah. Questions by doing practice. Close, but not quite, folks. The problem of practice can be defined as a persistent, contextualized, and specific issue embedded in the work of a professional practitioner, the addressing of which has the potential to result in an improved understanding, experience, and outcome. Okay, but what does that really mean? The problem of practice has several core components. First, it should pass the so what test, meaning when addressed, it has the potential to improve the lives of individuals, families, and communities. Second, it must address something that you actually have the power to affect. Third, it should be the right size, large enough to be of strategic concern to the organization and small enough that it can be addressed within your three-year doctoral program. Finally, it should address problems both of equity and social justice. In these ways, problems of practice tend to question the way things are typically done and ask why and is there a better way? Let's hear from some Pitt EDD students about their own problems of practice. When I looked at my organization and I looked at what our strategic plan is and uh, where we need to be essentially to um, continue thriving, um, it was something that became very apparent. You know, we are a healthcare uh, institution. Uh, we are producing doctors, and um, there are disparities for underrepresented communities that are too prevalent. Um, and so it is a big part of our mission to um, minimize that gap by producing uh, doctors that are more diverse and representative. Um, and so that is connected to, of course, our enrollment targets and who we bring in. Um, so this problem of practice was both um, connected to my organization and, and very timely. My problem of practice focuses on how students are not being intentionally equipped to engage others who hold different religious beliefs. The students that I work with have disabilities and have a spectrum of strengths and needs. Engaging them physically, emotionally, and academically is a challenge because they are unique in their own ways. And there's no blueprint on how to work with these students whose minds think differently, even if there's a plan on paper. So I want school staff to be comfortable and make efforts to engage how to best include students with disabilities so the students with the disabilities can feel fully included in their classroom settings. The new workplace reality where traditional hierarchies are no longer the norm for many organizations. Uh, the situation where many managers are not yet aware of how to lead in a four or even five generation workforce because that just started existing in about 2020 with the entrance of Generation Z. And then the third thing I was able to find in the problem area was that organizations haven't really adapted their cultures to generational diversity. To start identifying your own problem of practice, consider asking yourself these three questions. What challenges you? What keeps you up at night? What's the most important issue you have at your job? What are you curious about? What would you like to change? When starting out, it's important for you to refine the scope of your problem of practice. Our students often begin by thinking about broad problem areas like school assessment or young people's health, but those are too broad to address with a problem of practice. A problem of practice, by contrast, is 
tailored to a problem that you can actually address. It addresses a local, persistent problem that is embedded in the context of where you work. It is more specific than a broader, broader problem area. It is actionable, meaning you can impact this problem. And it's observable, meaning you can see the problem and measure the impact. If completing a problem of practice sounds a bit overwhelming now, have no fear. Our EDD team is here to help. We will work with you so that you select a problem of practice that draws on your unique strengths and addresses important problems in your organization. The result will be an education that ignites your learning and advances your career. For now, just trust the process. You'll get more tools and training with our EDD program. Thanks for watching.